So the frequency response of a filter where I've got a one volt AC signal source uh, in 200 steps going from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz with a 100 microfarad capacitor, a one Henry inductor, another 100 microfarad capacitor, and another one Henry inductor. And then we're going to take the output um, and we're going to look at the response, the frequency response. Most audio systems are terminated in 600 ohms. This is why we have a 600 ohm resistor here. If you look at here, I've also set um, a series resistance here of 600 ohms as well uh, so that we have the right termination impedance. So now I've drawn up this circuit. We're going to look, I'm going to click on the button and get the output. So now we run the simulator. We're hitting the run at the top here. And then this draws uh, the frequency response plot from uh, you know, 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, and I'm going to sample with my little logic probe. Can you see the red logic probe there? It's going to do the frequency response. I'm going to get rid of the uh, phase uh, response just to make it clear. And there you can see that if we swept the, we swept the frequency from 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz, you can see that there is, you know, 20, 20 dBE, 20 dB at 2 kilohertz, sorry, it's more like minus 140 dB. This filter severely attenuates um, uh, interfering signals. So if we zoom over this area here, you can see, let's just zoom over this area, say the audio band. You can see that there's lots and lots of attenuation. So you couldn't use, this filter is a low pass filter. It's too harsh to filter audio frequencies, but it's very good for like a DC type filter that you're trying to build. And you can see that, you know, 30 dB is uh, quite easily achievable at, you know, 1 kilohertz, 1 1.5 kilohertz. If we change the values here, so let's change them. Let's change this. Instead of being 1 Henry, 100 uh, milli Henry. And change this one to 100 milli Henry. And then we run the response again. You can see... The, the filter response has changed, and if we change these capacitor values, let's uh, bring them up to, say, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 micro Henry and 0 0.1 micro Henry. Okay, and then we run the filter response again. You can see that's got a nice uh, low pass filter shape. At four kilohertz, you can see though, it's still at four kilohertz, you can see, um, you know, there's almost 32 dB loss in the audio. So it's still a too aggressive filter for audio. Um, so again, we might change this to, instead of my, we might take this one milli Henry, and we might make this one, also one milli Henry, and we might make this zero point zero zero one and see what happens. And then we sweep again. Quite aggressive. Ah, oh, zero point zero one Farad that is, I forgot to put the the micro value on here. And let's run it now. And you can see that, you know, there's a bit of loss at 2 kilohertz. So it's still not a very, um, it's still an aggressive filter for audio. Um, let's uh, make those values even smaller. Let's make this one 0 0.001 microfarad and run again. So you can see you've got a 6 dB loss in audio immediately. So it's still an aggressive filter, but you get the idea to play around with audio filters um, or DC filters. Uh, that's it for today. Cheerio.